wanted to ask what, what celebrity she been with. She just named me. Oh, yeah, I wanted to know man. about the Tory Lanez. Oh, oh. Y'all know him as Tory Lanez. I know him as Daystar. Hold on, so you fuck Tory Lanez. Did I have sex with Tory Lanez? Yeah. Ooh, I'm gonna have to pull that. Po- I'm gonna have to pin that post when they start commenting on my thing. I'm gonna have to pin that to my page. Shout that whole part. Mm. So what? What was the thing with you and Tory Lanez? <laughs> this was it a was relationship a contract. <laughs> yes. Oh. And Damn. a real life contract is what he know me from the past stuff. I know him from the past, so that's how I go Ooh, in the shit. You got his industry. text message. Can we break it down? Yeah. Fuck a text. I just want to know how, when was this? Was this? This was. It started in 2020, but things got a little shaky. He was with the, was with the stallion too. Child, uh, I am <laughs> Sue. I'm coming for your ass as well. Yeah, you saw she what saw I what mind? I said to you. I am Sue. That's why you acknowledge that next post. <laughs> I will be pinning that as well. Yeah, because I am Sue and Megan Bigfoot had what they had going on. First of all, <laughs> Megan. The entertainment industry sent I Am Suits to me, baby. I never wanted that man. Never knew anything about him. Never cared about him. Because he ain't got no real power. That's why he needed me. That's why they sent him to me. Hold on. The Stop industry sent Tory Lanez to you? Chad, they always send people to me. Who? Is that right? Always. Who else they sent? My, I'm the niece of the first black television star with a lot of power. They, I wake to that. Hold on. Who when else I they sent? When I do my sent? rituals. Oh, Chad. I already said Quando Rondo. Oh, okay, shit. that's one. Tory Lanez. Quando oh, yeah. Rondo. Ooh, Who else? The baby. Oh! No, the baby? Oh, Come on. Oh, not the baby. Oh, yes. Nah, not the oh, baby. Oh, yes. Do you got Wake receipts? It up. I do have receipts, but that's for another platform. Yes. Oh, I good. definitely do. Just your now you know I, you know you know I be out here doing what I do. Just yesterday I woke that shit up at auditions and did I said I'm the niece of the first black television star, the ex-girlfriend of who? Wooty Wooty Woo, yes, I wakes it up. This ain't no game. It's 2024. It ain't 2020 no more. So are Yeah, they, I read the fine print. It's 2024. It's time to wake it up. So they're sending them to you to boost the, their career, or you got plugs for like what's going on with that? <laughs> Child, like I said, I'm the niece of the first black television star in the internet. Entertainment industry has been keeping up with my family, my bloodline, for a very, very long time. It's just my time now. Right. Yes, well, so no, this is deep Child. because you always hear about this type of stuff in the industry. <laughs> the rituals, so rituals and things yes. like that. So They're you real. are confirming that's They're real. real. Yes, I wakes it up. So they I activate. So they come Hold to on. you and they blow up a little bigger. Pause. No. Hold on, because now that I'm here and we speaking about that, let me Pull go ahead and wake Pull this up. Pull them motherfucking machines. Oh no, I'm waking something up on Jay Z up on this set. That's not waking up. Hold on. And hey Oscar, keep on. <laughs> Cause hold on, let me. I'm in my real phone. You see, let's hit phone. Let's. What the last four digits of that telephone number is? Hold up, Jay Z. Oh, Jay Z, you, you need to tell the people, Jay Z. Jay Z, tell the people why ain't no album been put out since that four 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 album. Show it to the camera. Tell them let me that. See. What happened? What happened? Yeah, Jay Z, me... tell them that he saw what I said on that on them Sean posts. I wakes the... it up. Oh, wow. I wakes it up. Yeah. Oh, wow. Big hello. Yes. Be, shout out to Beyonce as well because. Back in 2020, she released that good old single on my birthday. That part from that four birthday? album. Hold on, three fuck? two three two three like the area code, like the area code, like Just the area give code, us one like the area code. Oh child, O M I N O. Oh, that whole part. <laughs> hold child, on, hold please. on, no, because they saying. I really wake it up. No, look, because they've been saying Beyonce is a witch, right? So we're are, are you we're alluding to that? Creole. We're French Creole. We're na- that's natural. Hmm. I didn't choose spirituality; it chose me. So, and I tried to run from when I was younger. I tried to run from Bill old Baffy and did. But the way that he came back around, or they, I'm going to say they, because Baffy, that's not some non-binary. That's oh, what that is. So the 444 mm. album, that came through you? Yes, through my portals. Oh, fan. hold on. Hey, Beyonce, can we talk about uh, why that album came out on what day connected to my uncle, the first black television star? Surprise album at that. We can really wake this all the way up. It's 2024. I ain't got to be quiet now. Hey, hold on. Keep dropping I can talk them. if I want to. Keep dropping I can them. wake this shit all the way up if I want to. I just been real quiet. I ain't got to be quiet no more. I'm wait coming that for game all that. I'm coming for mines. I'm coming for mines. It, I ain't blackballed no more. I'm coming for mines. Hold That's on. They had you blackballed? And the fuck did. They had me blackballed. And did. Jay-Z and Beyonce? And definitely did. Because wow. it was something that I did not want to do. I had my own life going on. I was in school. I'm an HBCU graduate. I'm not finna. Nah, I know legacy. What school you went oh, to? Oh shit, Bethune Cookman. Okay. Oh mm-hmm. yes, Bethune. I graduated high school with an associate's degree. So the, yes, I so graduated. What did they blackboard you? I'm not gonna say what I was blackboard about, but I was blackboard back in 2012. Yes, I and, was. And it expired in 2024 because Cat Williams no, said it's the year of the truth. It expired in 2020. And I just chose to wake it up in 2024. Yes. So is this tied to what Cat Williams was saying? Like, everything's going to come out this year? 
the rapture. The rapture's here. We mm. making a shout out to Lord Jehovah because they mad about me and Lord Jehovah about oh, us being public, sh- about our relationship sh- being public. Hold They're on. mad about that. Lord Jehovah, uh, that's my man, my man, my man, my <laughs> man. Lord Jehovah love me. I can't wait to get back in the ministries because I got to go wake the ministries up as oh, well. Like and dude. Drop a bomb oh, on yeah. that. Oh, yeah. Hold on, drop a bomb on that. I wake it up. And what the fuck? Yeah. <laughs> TD Jackson. Huh? Yeah. Have I you ever? Four 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 was like some high power spiritual dropping a uh, 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 financial knowledge, and you said, "Nah, that came through you." I woke that up. And I Beyonce dropped her album on your birthday. They know me of you. very well. They know me very oh, well, this. very 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 well. <laughs> How yeah. well? Like, what about uh, Rihanna? Because well? there's a lot of stuff coming out about her right now. Where is the album at, Rock Nation? Or are you cursed Ooh. with no reversals? Ooh. Or what's going on? I ain't had nothing to do with the spell, but it's really looking like it's a curse because where's that album? Mm-hmm. But I don't know nothing about that. So you got a lawsuit with Meg Thee Stallion right now? Fuck her. Mm. She stole your man. Said, fuck all them. Tora. They are been. She, she, she stole, she stole who man? She stole your man. She ain't still my man. Dead. She ain't still my man. <laughs> Child, please. That's still I, yours then? Forever and always. The way that that spiritual contract, if you ever try to, you you thought you was cursed, it'll be a no reversal. Hold on. You so ever, ever try. So they ever actually try. signed you ever they try, to, try to run away from the spirits if you want to and the spells and the rituals, that's clear as day in our face. So you saying all of this conspiracy theories? Oh, I'm the real theorist. Roman. You don't know about Roman? Nah, oh. you got to give us the game. Roman Holiday. You know Roman, Nikki. Yeah, well, that's Roman a, Holiday is Eddie Albert, which is someone... Famous from Rock Island, Illinois, the same place me and my uncle, the first black television star, is from. That whole part, I'm the real Roman. If you know who Roman is, back in 2011, 2012, the whole rapping. description of them, because Roman is not a boy anymore. Roman is non binary. Roman is they and them. They try to say back then that Roman was a gay, homosexual male. You better go Nicki Minaj, Alter Ego Roman. Go get into That's it. Why she made that Roman mm. Oh, is that? Child, hold on, child. wait, hold on. I wake it up, hold child. On. What happened? What I wake the fuck? Sh- I wake it up. I'm the real I'm one. Like, I'm the real. On. I'm the real one. Yeah. Hold on, because everything I'm the is tied in right worship. now. They worship me to get through me. Mm. To wake it up. Yeah, I'm the... I, yeah, they wakes it up with me. And do... Uh, and do... Uh, like, no, she I'm tying all this shit together right DNC. there. I'm a whole DNC. I am very respected. And very worshipped in the entertainment industry. It's me. Because we hear about this black magic going on in the industry and he sold ties. And <laughs> people like to say it's fake, but you confirming this shit. No, it's man. very real. Like, it's natural as well. So what happened if I'm you break born this? Into this? What happened if you break one of these contracts, these sold contracts? Mm-hmm. I ain't broke one. That's why nobody knew what was going on back then until now. I had to wait to the right time. Now, if they do some things prematurely... Child, please, you're gonna have to deal with the spirits on your own because they're gonna come for you. I don't play that. Oh, no, I don't. I don't. Mm-hmm. Is that what's going on with Diddy right now? Oh, hold on. I don't know what's going on with Diddy, but I love P. Diddy. Shout out to him because Ooh. when I filmed that reality show back last year in Memphis, he got my first class flight back home and did. Mm. That's why I was up on television singing that if you look good, act bad. Everybody kept looking like, why she keep saying this, saying that with the. It's months to come. That's the reason why he has had to pull them receipts out and did first class flight back home. Mm, so I love right. Diddy. Shout out to P. Diddy. Have you been to a Diddy Shout party? Shout out to Diddy. Diddy. You a black Shout girl. out to uh, P. Diddy. Is Shout out to P. Diddy. <laughs> have you been to a Diddy party? <laughs> no, I have I'm not. Uh, okay. <laughs> oh, that, that was, man. That was, <laughs> these, are, these are some big claims, no. man. We, we want to see these receipts. Yeah. Jag- Jaguar Jr. Oh. oh, shout out to Jaguar. Even oh, though we Lord. had our uh we had our little spiritual warfare, our little battles in the entertainment industry. But we good now. Shout out to her nephew, Shaka Zulu, as well. Cause I know Shaka Zulu in real life. And speaking of Jaguar Wright's um nephew, Shaka Zulu, Sydney Star. Oh. Needs to stop saying that I'm oh. a stalker, that I'm stalking her in the entertainment industry. No, baby. I was invited to that event that mm. you said that I was stalking you at. Jaguar White's nephew, Shaka Zulu, invited me, baby. Never was stalking you, never have to stalk you, because each and every time that we were in the same space, baby, the entertainment industry invited me. So, stalker wear. How am I stalking anyone? If I'm literally invited to these places, that don't make sense to me. I'm stalking, but I was invited. So, are, are all of these guys secretly behind the scenes having to go through these portals, like you like to call it, like That's yourself? That's life. 
Yes. Mm. So to this make is, it to that next level, they got to a portal. They got to go is through a, a whole portal. machine. It's a portal. There's certain things that you have to do. Can I fit? It's certain things portal? you are willing to do. Your big ass barely fit through the door. But it was things that I was not willing to do back in 2012. Child, please. No, I got to focus on other things. But now that I got the time, I got all my degrees under my belt, this and all that, I got time. So is it something that they asked you to do that you was like, nah, I'm drawing the line right I, there? I'm out of here. I ran away. I ran. Has it, has I disappeared. All type of people started just stalking me, popping up out of nowhere. I'm going out in public. It's just real weird. People, I'm just like, because I am I pay attention when I'm in public. Can I ask one question? And I, uh-uh. I just got one serious question what? before we... Like, when, ha when is the time when being transgender has been, like, the hardest for you? Is there ever a time... When you wake up and just be like, what the fuck am I nah, doing? Nah, nah, fuck that. I I, I wanna, hold I on, really no, fuck want... that. We want to hear about this industry shit. Bells? No, fuck that. She's Bells? dropping bars right now. <laughs> yeah. We need to know. It, okay. <laughs> this was a good question. Nah, fuck that question. We can do a part I, two I, with I that. I can answer your question. She want to answer I question. can answer it. Because you, you basically asked it in, when was it hard in my life? Yeah. Uh, yeah. Um, it's easy now, if you want to be honest. Because back then, it was not as big as it is now. It was not really known like... Back then, I didn't even really consider myself a trans woman. I considered myself something else. I didn't know that I was a trans woman back then. So you well, well, no, 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 yeah, fuck that. Now, wake that. it up. Wake it up. What was wake it up. Was asking you to do that you wasn't doing it That's what we want to know. Like now, it's, I'm, I'm all that. Just give us some hints. Yeah. Fuck hints. We want the actual yeah, factual. If you, if you really what they asked you to do in 2012 that you like, now is the time. This. Now you got time. Rihanna... It has something to do with 2012 and the black ball. That's all I'm going to say. Mm. Which is why now that album is delayed. Rock Nation, know what's up. They can't play with me no more. The things that they did to me back then when I was young. Ooh. They, it would have never happened again today. Yeah, oh. It would never happened again today. When you say young, you talking underage young? Or? Well, I'm born into the entertainment industry because of my uncle. And like I said, to entertain my mom, child. Ooh. But yeah, I'm born into the entertainment industry, so I've been around celebrities and famous people my whole life. Trina Rockstar brought me onto the entertainment industry scene officially when I was 18, but before 18, I've been around these people. I've been knowing these people. Been in the same room with them, this and all that, and if we're gonna really wake it up, the same lodge. Wake, oh <laughs> no, nah, wake that shit up. Child, yes, we've been same in the same lodge. lodge together. And if you know, you know. So you've had relations with certain celebrities before you were 18? Yeah. <laughs> That's what she's saying, bro. No, I've, I've been around them. I've been around them. I've been around them. I've been around them. And I've been waking it up with these people for a very long time. Because all of that is coming out now where you're seeing celebrity after celebrity yes. after celebrity that's been with it's under way many, teens. It's so many others. It's so many others. But we the names that I mentioned, that's, it's time to talk about that and wake that up, especially with the baby, Because we need to go back to this one situation when he was blackballed. He needs to... Yeah, yeah it's time. Hey, when when he made no that comment. Yeah. Ain't no better yeah. time than yeah. now. Yeah. You can yeah. disclaimer. That's, yeah. yeah. That he know why. Been a he know why. Ain't nothing better than you going viral on the right. highway. That's facts. Hey, wait that shit up. Because this going viral. Hey, wait a minute, bro. Because when I'm she looking. get done with this, and if it do go viral, they're going to be in here saying, we didn't did some gay shit. Stop. Nah, bro. Listen. Hey, you speak for yourself. Hey, no. You win. No, no, no. Wait, no. What about your son? Yeah, this fat nigga. What the fuck? What's going on with the baby? When he said the whole. Oh, the gay shit at the, yeah, at the concert, at the concert right? yeah, yeah, at the concert That's thing. That's you getting at. That, yeah. yeah. What he, happened with he that? He self-cursed himself because it was something going on behind the scenes that he did not want to wake up with the IRRG. Ooh, what's the IRRG? What's what's the International Order Rainbow for the Girls. Oh, see, we didn't know Hold the on. acronym. Hold on, so you said yeah, you said the baby was involved in that, then got on stage saying "fuck" what he was involved. He self cursed in. himself because mm. he was not trying to go through a certain portal mm. with the IRG, a certain ritual. Mm -hmm. Ooh, yeah, wake that, that shit up. Took him I don't know, but that's why he got cursed in New Orleans, Louisiana, on the five zero four frequency, the French Creole frequency. We didn't forget when. Um, you had a show in New Orleans, uh, Illinois. Ooh, that's the Illinois trying to pop out. Louisiana. And them tickets was what? And they had to cancel the whole show. Yeah, when the French Creoles curse you in the reversals, it's real bad. Yeah. Is it possible to make it to a Jay-Z, a P. Diddy, Dr. Dre level without going through these portals? Just <laughs> hard work and grinding in the industry. 
<laughs> I'm not sure. I know what my duties are and what I got going on. I'm not sure. I haven't seen it yet. So you saying everybody at that level who went through a portal? Does, I can't name one. I can't think of one that has can come to the top of my head that has not went through certain things to get to where they are. So you it's, it's hold up. And speaking of you said Dr. Dre, I gotta pull off this picture uh, uh that was just in my memories. I think that was yesterday or the day before I can get it in English, where him and Snoop Dogg was looking real zesty. Laying down in that uh, oh, when they was laying down in the, the, grass, in the grass, grass. That that was zesty as fuck. That made me oh. cringe when I seen that. I thought you was about to say you was with them or something. Yeah, right. no, yeah, but Snoop, Snoop Dogg was stalking me though. Snoop, the, the entertainment industry had that man stalking me in Newport <laughs> Beach. Yes, huh? I have a spot in Newport Beach, and they had him at fashion shows stalking me. But time went on, and I realized why he was stalking me it was because he had a show coming up in the Quad Cities, which is four cities. Rock Island, where me and my uncle, the first black television stars from, and he had a show out there in the Quad Cities or whatever. He doesn't need the energy. That's why he was stalking me. So yes, it's things like that happen as well. So by by energy, are you saying spells or is this a sexual type of act where it's like, hey, you got to come do some sexual stuff and then we move you up? I don't know if everything involves sex, but me speaking for myself, I'm French Creole, so I know the type of things that I can manifest through sexual energy. Been knowing about it since I've been a, well under 18. I was taught at a very young age. Um, sex rituals, this and all that, with this, with this, that, and the third. So I know what I can activate through sex. That's now, if they can, they can, and if both can, that's even more power to the both. So is that why the LGBT thing is getting pushed so hard? Is it these spells? Because it has a direct tie with the industry. You see millionaires, billionaires, and then it's like LGBT is directly tied to it. I'm not sure. I'm not sure. I just know for myself that I can wake it up through sex. But I don't push myself on any man. If you want to be honest, I am like low-key like shy a man. Like I'm like real timid when it comes to men. I don't push myself on men. Like I don't chase men. Men literally chase me. I literally have stalkers. I just had to call the police last week. To escort me out of my home because it's a man stalking me. So yeah, I don't. Is do it the witchcraft? No, no. Hit him with the pussy. Hey, look. I, I don't just do that on any and everybody. Hey, hey, look, look, we gonna, hey, look, we gonna have to run no. this back because that's some groundbreaking info right there. <laughs> and you say you got receipts, so let's run a part two where we could get some of these receipts going. Receipts, because because this is the year of the exposure. We need we need Ooh. to know and the truth. We need to get girl, out right? there. Bring her home. Girl. Who Barbie? <laughs> Hold yeah. on, let's get let's let's confirm Barbie. Is that Barbie whole part. Another transgender? Barbie, SoCal Barbie, yes. Oh, y'all trying to fill it up with transgender? Hold on, <laughs> let's get Barbie up on here. She might wake your game up, fat boy. I got a one transgender gender limit. Only if you show up, I'm fucking her. Look, I don't know. Hold on, wait, SoCal Barbie. Yeah, is, I know. Now, y'all talking about viral? So SoCal Barbie is viral, viral. Yeah, like, yeah. Viral we bring her up here. Yeah. Because he might have been through some rituals with that tight ass sweatsuit on. 